Good evening, Aries. This will be a love lesson loss for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome back to my channel. This is Empress Bell. Um, I hope you guys are, are having an awesome day. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a spirit message uh, with my Archangel Oracle deck before I get into the love luster laws for each sign. So, um, Aries, you guys will be first. Okay. Love luster laws. Uh, let's see what um, our Archangel Oracle deck message is for you guys. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Okay. Now, Aries, with that, um, I'm thinking that uh, you guys could be dealing with a relationship that you probably aren't satisfied in. And with that message, I think, you know, our guides are saying that it's time for you to do what's best for you in this situation. Okay. Uh, put you first in the situation. Do not hold back because there are better things out here waiting for you. Not saying that your situation, you know, probably wasn't, you know, all bad. But if you're not happy in the relationship, you shouldn't stay in it. Okay. So... Let's see. Um, we're using our Roman angels that okay, so I love this. Okay, we're gonna get some messages for Gary. Okay, this definitely could be a past life. You could be married, okay? Or could have been married to this person. Okay, but separation definitely is on the horizon. So, okay. I feel like you guys put a lot of energy into trying to fix the situation or work on it you put your energy into it but maybe something isn't working out right now between the two of you guys okay yeah okay also they just said basically that um you can be staying with this person because of the children okay um if you guys have children together you could be staying in this unhealthy unhealthy and unhappy marriage because of the children and it's like, um, or you could have been married to this person and now they're acting funny with the children, okay? Playfulness to recapture romance, okay? You guys could be trying to fix this relationship. I really feel like this is a person of, um, person that you had a long time commitment with, but things may be going left due to, due to some type of deception, that was done in the relationship. Okay, Aries. Right, at the bottom of the deck, you have healing family issues. Your love life benefit as you forgive your parents. Now, like I said, I feel like you guys are definitely trying to fix the relationship because you guys have children together. And Spirit wants you to know that uh, that's not what you're supposed to be doing, okay? Now... The cards that fell out for you guys is very soon. Clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. Okay. You have the very soon card. Okay. And soulmate fell out as well, but it came out in the reverse. So if you think this person is a soulmate of yours, um, that's probably not the case. If it is, it's a karmic soulmate. Okay. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, you have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so there is something that you need to pay attention to. Maybe this person is planning on leaving you. You don't know it. But um, Aries, this is a situation where I feel as though you guys, it's, it's, it's like uh, falling apart because uh, maybe deception. Maybe someone cheated in the past. You know, it could have been you or the other person that you're dealing with. But we're about to find out what's going on. 
you know, maybe that's a backstory of your situation. Let's hope. Let's see. Love, luster, loss for Aries. Love, luster, loss for Aries. Sun, rising, and Venus. Love, luster, loss. Yeah. This could have been a person that you're probably waiting for as well. Some Aries could be wanting to be with this person or you're trying to wait for the perfect time to leave this person or yeah you could be waiting for the perfect time to leave this person out in the cold Aries yeah this is a loveless relationship I'm feeling like um this person you could be dealing with a stalemate type energy you're dealing with Aries I'm rising in Venus um, yeah it's a lot of tension these cards are so tense right now as I'm shuffling it you guys have a lot of tension in this relationship, Aries. Like, wow. Aries, yeah. And I don't feel like Aries is pretty hopeful for the situation because of all this tension, you guys. Goodness gracious. This is hell heavy. <laughs> I feel it all in me, whatever this is. My cards are so tight right now. I swear. Here, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. The bottom of the deck. Yeah. Four of swords. Okay, yeah. Maybe this situation is needs to be put to rest. Um, or you already have done this, Aries, because of all the tension that I'm like, I feel is so tense with you guys. Whoever you're dealing with. Yeah, you know, Aries, maybe this is you. Okay, you have the King of Wands at the bottom. So, yeah, you're needing to lay something or leave somebody out in the cold. Or you're feeling left out in the cold here. Yeah, but you're feeling backstabbed and betrayed by this person. You know. All right. Here it is. We're going to do uh, a card for you, card for them, and the outcome. Okay. Okay. Judgment. Judgment. To Ten of Cups. Maybe you want to get back with this person, Aries. Okay. You have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Maybe you want to bring this relationship back around here. Okay. If this is a person that you are definitely, you know, um, of course, but from judgment or you call judgment on this family situation, this family unit, you know, you felt like it was a karmic, you know, cycle that you were in. You want to be happy. You want your waiting. You want wish fulfillment. But there were some secrets with this person that made you feel weak. You know, um, they probably had you waiting or it's having you waiting for a long time. So you're ready to just call judgment on it and lay it to rest because it's like it's becoming too much. OK, let's see how this person feels about you. Three of Swords, Aries. So this is basically, they are heartbroken right now. Maybe because you call judgment on this situation. Okay. They could be a very nurturing, loving type of energy. The motherly energy could be mother of your children. But an older, uh, maybe earth sign. Or they could be a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. But they're heartbroken right now behind the situation. Maybe behind... You know, the fact that you call judgment on the situation here. You know, maybe they had options and it was one-sided. Or they felt like it was one-sided with you. And you took a leap of faith and walked away. Yeah, this is definitely a counterpart. Walked away from the marriage or the relationship. You became the emperor. You made a choice here. You know, communication maybe. You don't talk to this person. And also, there could be a third party in the situation here. Because I've seen the lover's card. So, they're heartbroken, definitely. Um, yeah, so, I say, what's the outcome here for Aries? The outcome. Wow. The Ten of Swords. Yep, truthful communication that is going to actually kill this whole situation because you have the Ace of Swords here. Okay. Um, so, there is going to be some truths. You know, that's going to be very shocking to you 
Aries because you got the tower. You're going to have a tower moment here. Um, yeah, or you already have had that moment there. But I'm feeling like, you know, so love, lust, or loss, Aries. This is definitely a loss, okay? Um, but I'm sure you already know that. Um, if you were dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is definitely a loss, okay? Because there's a lot of air here. So, but those are also, that also means communication. But you could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, but, yeah. So, Aries, that is your reading. Um, thank you for coming back to my channel. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.